Hello, my Scorpio friends. This is Jamie Little Red Tarot. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising, April 2020. First of all, I want to thank you for your patience. I am just a little over 13 weeks post-surgery. I feel great. I moved. I've got all that settled. So I'm super excited. Things are crazy out in the world, but they look like there is hope and improvement. And so that's excellent. So I first want to say that I open up with a prayer. And I open up and I pray to God and I pray to Jesus that you wouldn't be here if you didn't believe in a higher power, whatever you call it, higher power. So please don't let that run you off because I'm not here to judge or to be judged. I'm just here to share the message and the gift that I believe that I was given. So, with that being said, please like, subscribe, and share. If you already subscribed to the Little Red Tarot family, thank you so very much. So, I do a pre-shuffle. In the pre-shuffle, or in the pre-shuffle, I get messages. I shuffle these beforehand a little bit and I'll shuffle them on camera. Energies might be the opposite, so even though I'm reading for Scorpio, I might pick up on the opposite energy. When I do love reading, it could be friends, family, or love. Also, um, the, whenever I pull a major arcana card, sorry, my dog like poked me and distracted me. <laughs> whenever I pull a major arcana card, it, it, it could be like Leo or Aries, that could be in your chart, could be who you're dealing with, it could mean you need to take on those energies, or you need to release those type of energies. So, listen to my dog, I'm sorry. So, uh, normally he lays down and sleeps as a lady, but... So, anyways, so again, take the message and put it where it fits. Don't force it to fit. Tarot's here to help, not hinder. If you don't like the outcome, change it. You're the captain of your own ship and you have your own free will. So, let's go ahead and hop into that prayer real fast. Lord in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit. I want to thank you for this day and I want to thank you for our blessings. I want to thank you for this gift that you give me. I want to thank you for speaking to me and serving me. I want to thank my spirits, my personal spirits, and the spirits of those who are listening, and whatever messages that I need to get across. I also want to take a quick moment to pray for everybody who is, you know, go in the quarantine, who are, you know, going a little stir crazy. Pray for the people that are healing. I want to pray for the people who are sick. I want to pray for our frontliners and everybody else that's involved in this. And I know that we have hope and we have faith and things will get better. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. My dog is something else right now. I'm so sorry, folks. He's just ne never done that before. Well, not never. Don't get that wrong. There's been a few times that the dog has been like wrestling in the background. But very rarely does he make all this noise and come poke me. <laughs> okay. Oh. So in the free shuffle, I heard step aside. You're in the way. You're blocking somebody. And in blocking that somebody, you are blocking your own way. Um, you're being selfish. Like, remember what I said, energies can be reversed. So, put it where it fits, don't force it to fit. And then I heard you're going to make new friends in April. And then, I know it's April, but I kept saying, um, what's up with my April friends? Um, April sun, moon, and rising. So, I'm, somebody's with a name April. Maybe you are having a name April. Maybe you have an aunt or a friend or a sister or whatever. Maybe you're going to run into April. I don't know. I just, just kept hearing that. So, at first I blew it off. I'm like, it's April, right? But then it kept happening. So, um, I heard stop nagging. And this is more so you're nagging yourself. We all have setbacks. Not, not a failure or a mistake if you learn from it and make the appropriate adjustments. Nothing's ever a failure or a mistake. Well, we fail, okay? But it's not a mistake. It's not a failure. We have failures, but we are not a failure. Does that make sense? So it's not a mistake if you learn from it. That's how you grow old, that's how you get wisdom, that's how you can give the advice and come across like you're so wise and old. Yeah, I'm so wise and old because I've been through it, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> I heard calm down, don't be so hard on yourself. And then I heard skeet shooting. I actually heard skeet, 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 skeet. <laughs> and then I heard skeet shooting. Um, maybe it's a hobby, maybe you meet someone in skeet shooting or maybe that's what they like to do don't say no if someone invites you to go skeet shooting or maybe this is just sometimes these are just confirmations that there's something in the mess you need to hear you know your name could be april you could like to skeet shoot it's like oh we'll hang around and hang out and see what we got to say so i'm going to do a general reading with clarification cards and i'm going to do a romance reading please like subscribe and share oh yeah i'm going to give away two free readings um stick around to the end to find out how to do that Alright, this is for my Scorpio friends, Sun, Moon, and Rising, April 2020. What messages do we have, please? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for being here. 
figure sticking to me and through me. These cards are new and stiff and they're actually really good quality so they shuffle differently than say like these cards here. Oh yeah, everything you need to know is down in the description box below. The cards that I use, um, how to do the private reading, my email is down there. The link that I like to uh, find your moon and rising if you're interested in finding that out is also down there. Donations are greatly appreciated. Remember, please like, subscribe, share, comment, do something, hit the dislike button. I don't care, my friends. All right. Just let me know you're there. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, April 2020. Hello. Are you out there? Okay. I'm okay. I'm better now. All right. There we go. Thank you guys for being here. Really appreciate it. Remember, I'm getting ready for reading, so hang out at the end and find out what it is. Alright, or how to enter. Alright, we have the Knight of Swords. Hmm. Huh. I like his shield's got like this little cat. I almost said fox, and then I thought maybe cat. I don't know. Either one of those. Looks like he's posing for a picture. He's not on guard. He's not going into battle. He's just kind of just standing there. So let me get some more cards. Oop, did you see that? Oh, bouncing. That was fun. Whoa, okay. We have the Four of Cups, this is interesting, there's a storm brewing in the background, I mean possibly a tornado or some high wind, but this little chick is being born and there's like this circle of protection around this baby chick as it's born, it's all calm over here, everything's going on in the background. So this chick, baby chick is born, it's, you know, circumferenced with protection. And these four cups. Are there for your choosing. This is a new beginning. Of course, that's, as soon as, you know, we open everything back up, there is going to be a whole new beginning. I really feel like that. The same, I kind of get the same energy in everybody's readings. You know, as soon as everything opens back up, everything's just going to burst open. This is the time for planning and making changes and new steps. Things that we didn't have time to do before, start a business or our hobby or whatever. Now it's time to do that. Bond with our family. Learn how to cook. You know, <laughs> whatever it is. Now's that time. But there's been a storm brewing in the background. While this rebirth happens. But you need to understand that you're protected while this rebirth is happening. That there are these four, I want to say four spirits, four energies, four something that, you know, maybe it's a spirit, your animal guide, your, you know, your God, your Holy Spirit, whatever. You know, whatever those four things are to you. Maybe you don't know what they are, maybe you need to focus. I'm a big believer in meditation and yoga, focusing, um, breathing, listening to your inner self. But you're protected while you take this journey. No matter what's going on in the background, this is a new beginning for you and you're protected. And you're going to have, and you have choices. <clears throat> we have the seven of wands. And he's just kind of sitting there. He's chilling. He's on guard. And when I say on guard, he's not on guard like looking for a fight. He's guarding like he's the lookout he's just kind of hanging out looking out and they keep saying that while that no matter what's going on you've got protection and people and spirits angels whatever watching your back you are protected the universe has your back you're covered no matter what's going on don't worry about the storm brewing in the background to start this new beginning, crack that egg open and start. And then we have the Ace of Wands. 
And of course, there's this ginormous lion, which is a Leo. So, like I said, it could be in a chart, could be here you're dealing with. Could mean that you need to take on that, the energy of a Leo, which is all about strength. And that's exactly what he's doing. I mean, he's got this log and he's just going at it. And it's like, when he's doing this, he's, you know, he's sharpening his, his teeth, his, his fangs, he's, he's getting stronger, he's wrestling, this is a big old piece of wood, this is going to take some muscle, you know, he's got it, he's about to flip it, he's like, arr, he's about to throw this thing, body slam it, which is interesting, hmm, Right now, you're just a baby chick. Whatever this is, there's a storm, storm brewing in the background. Yeah, see, all this is telling me that you are protected while you start this new beginning. Whatever this new beginning is for you. It could be a new personal journey. It could be a new, do, uh, blah, 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 a new business journey, a love romance. I'm not sure what this new, new journey is for you, this new beginning is for you, but you're protected while it happens. Ignore all the naysayers and the background noise and the storm. You're protected. You need, you need to remember that so you can grow stronger in this. You need to grow from this to this. So, like I said, in order, you need to focus. Focus on working on this new business. Focus on working on yourself. You need to work on getting stronger in whatever it is that you're doing. And not worry about the bullshit in the background because you are protected. This is a journey you're supposed to take. You need to grow to this. And you need to be prepared because you're going to rip it. Ace of Wands is... This is just grabbing it. Just, but you got to grow first. So stop worrying about the bullshit and know you're protected. So you can grow to this monster and, monster and attack it full force. Alright. Let me get some clarification cards please. For my Scorpio friends, Sun, Moon, and Rising, April 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thanks for being here. Thank you for speaking to me and Sarah. What messages do we have? Clarification cards. My Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, April 2020. Remember, please like, subscribe, share, comment, dislike, do something. At the end, I'm going to tell you how to win a free reading. I'm going to give away two questions and a one question reading. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, April 2020. One more shuffle. Oh, I didn't like that one. That one really was shuffle. That, <clears throat> that wasn't, excuse me. Nope, okay, what the heck. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, see this Knight of Swords is just kind of Watching guard, standing guard. <coughs> but everybody's real relaxed. It's not like they're fighting a battle. You see this? They're real relaxed. They know that whatever's going on in the background doesn't matter. They're like, we're chill. We got it. We're watching. So, that's interesting. Three of Pentacles. See? This is your business is growing. People come to you. They're giving you Pentacles. They're paying you for your service. You're standing here. You got your... You know, leather work apron on. So obviously you are working. And these people are coming and paying you for this service. I like that. Okay. Right. Clarification cards, please. Oop, there's one. It's a nine of wands. Alright, so... There's something that's heading your way, but it can't make dock right now. The message can't get to you. This blessing can't get to you. This opportunity can't get to you right now. Because there's it's too turbulent. If he tries to come in and make dock, he's going to ram up against those rocks. So he's got to go back out and wait for the seas to calm down. The storm brewing? So, huh. I'm not sure what this storm is, but look, it's keeping this opportunity from you. This could, this back here could be you. This could be your thoughts. 
your negativity. You believing that you are not believing that you're protected. You not believing that anybody would want these services from you. Want to pay you for anything. You might be keeping this door and brewing. You're keeping yourself this little baby chick. You can't grow because you're so negative. You've got to let go of this negativity, this negative thought. Believe what you're worth. I keep hearing that a lot too. Believe your worth. This is a great opportunity for you to grow in whatever it is you need to grow, you need to grow in. You need to stop the negative thought, stop the storm. Now, for some of you, there may be somebody in the background who keeps the storm brewing. You think they're a friend, but they always say the right thing is just to keep it stirred up, remind you, make you go, oh, yeah. It's not really a friend now, is it? Or it could be somebody who's doing it secretively. Because remember how I said this person looks like they're like posing for a picture? It's almost like they're like, wasn't expecting the picture, boom. There's this, you know, suddenly, somebody comes with a bigger flash bomb, right? Like, hey, so, could be somebody who is gathering quote unquote intel behind your back, gossiping, talking to people, you know, why did she fail this time, this last time, or, you know, or I don't know, I don't know. There's somebody, for some of you, not everybody, but for some of you, there's somebody, they're, they are the storm. They're keeping these waters stirred up, the storm brewing, somebody who likes drama. Someone who doesn't want to see you succeed. Sorry, I drank my coffee pretty loud. If you heard that, I apologize. I was just chugging that baby. Mm. Anyways, sorry. Yeah, there's somebody in there that likes drama and doesn't want to see you succeed. But you have people that are protecting you from this energy. Now, if this is your own mind, you need to start protecting your own energy. Change. The way you speak to yourself. I know it's easier said than done, but every time you think it, go, no, that's incorrect. I am successful. I do deserve these blessings because we do. Life is not meant to be unhappy. This is a great opportunity. Okay? Clarification card, please. Whoa. Now, some of you I know, you're essential. Wow. Okay. Essential employees. You're like, what opportunity? I'm still working, plus I'm having to homeschool. I mean, I understand. Some of you are like, ah! Okay. All right. Let's see. Interesting. So this, whatever opportunity message this is that's been trying to come in and can't come in because these waters are just staying stirred up. I mean, look, it's beat the sails off the boat, off the ship. He's finally had to come in and land away from the cliffs. He's open water there. He couldn't come in. This message, this opportunity, this blessing couldn't come in. I mean, it got beat up and tattered by the storm. Finally, he's like, okay, I'm going to go dock over here. I'm going to rest. I'm going to warm up. I'm, I killed myself a nice little beast. Of course, this looks like a, what, a ram. So... That would be Aries. So again, could be Natura, could be her dealing with, could just mean that you need to take on that king energy, the boss. Alright, fine. But whatever this message was, it wasn't able to come in. Whatever this blessing was, it wasn't able to come in. It ended up having to go dock somewhere else. It was getting beat up. It was, it, it was not going to make it at all if it didn't go settle down somewhere and just wait for the storm to pass and recoup. You've been blocked, remember? And then what I said, blocking someone, blocking yourself. So, by block, maybe there's somebody who has a better opportunity. A friend, a husband, I don't know, something. And in order for this opportunity to happen, they have to go. And that's and you are blocking it you, you, for your own, you're being selfish. For your own selfish reasons. By not letting them go, you're not allowing the opportunities for you to come in. One door has to close for another door to open. If this door is still open, this one can't open yet. They're blocking each other. 
You know, pretend they both are coming out both towards each other. You can't have both doors open. You can't do it. It's like imagine trying to get out of a car door. You know, you're trying to get out the driver's side. Someone else trying to get out the, the passenger side of a car next to you. You both can't open that door, now can you? One door has to close the other one to open. So I understand this might hurt. You might not want them to go. But if you think about it, you probably already knew it's time to go. You're holding on for your own selfish reasons. Stop blocking the way of someone else. Because now you're blocking your way. And you're not letting this come in. This to me is this page of swords. This particular in this deck is like the winds of change. Libra got that. The last reading I just did. So again, you might be connecting with Libra. It's a new chart or something. But this is the winds of change coming in. Winds of change. It's coming. So you have a choice. You can stop blocking this energy and this message and this new, new, new beginning that's supposed to come in for you. That's what you're doing. I mean, you pushed it away. So you can either stop blocking it and get ready because this is going to be one hell of a ride. This is a good ride. It may, may hurt in the beginning because you're losing somebody. You're having to quit a job or it's going to be scary. I don't know what it is. You don't believe you're worthy of it. Whatever you're doing, you're blocking this. You're keeping it away. <clears throat> and whether you do that or not, whether you accept it, the winds of change are coming. The universe has this great way of going, oh, you don't want to get up? Okay, that's fine. They knock the chair out from underneath you and boom, you sit on your ass. And you're like, oh, and you have to stand up, right? Pick up the chair. Well, instead of picking up the chair and sitting your ass back down, you need to pick up the chair and you need to start walking and do what you knew that you were supposed to be doing in the first place. So you have a choice. Are you going to wait for the chair to be kicked up from underneath your ass? Or are you actually going to let this blessing come in? Stop blocking yourself. It's coming whether you want it to or not. This is a blessing to you. Nine of Pentacles is one pentacle away from ten of Pentacles. That's fine. I'll take nine. I'll get, I, have, I, can, I can give a pentacle away. That's cool. I'm okay with nine pentacles. <clears throat> Standing in his garden. He's got the grapes. He's got his, you know, his crown. He's got his robes. I mean, this is all of his land. He's got the, all this abundance. Water and green grass and the garden and the pentacles. I mean, he's just standing there. I mean, he's happy. This is, this is financial abundance. This is blessings. Now, not all wealth is financial. Some wealth is realizing the wealth that you have and the blessings that you have around you. I'm not sure why I felt the need to say that, but someone needed to hear that. You have plenty of wealth. But you're going to get this wealth for... People want to pay you for your business. You're going to go from wearing the apron to standing there in your, in just standing in your garden. And you will earn this. Whatever this is, new business, a new idea, writing a book, I don't know what it is. A new job you've been offered. Maybe somebody's, for somebody, you met somebody. And it's been a very short amount of time. They have this, they have an opportunity. They've been offered a job. And as soon as everything opens back up, they have to move and take this job. They want you to go with them. You want to go with them. But someone's blocking you or naysaying or talking shit. Well, if you're a grown-ass adult... That's what you want to do. Do it. Now, I'm not saying, you know, go with a abuser or abuser or, you know, go whatever. I mean, it's your own free will. Do what you want to do. But I'm saying there's somebody that you, you just know. You just know. And they've offered and you want to go. And even if it's a failure, what did I say? It's not a failure. You have to try. I'd rather say I well, that didn't work out versus I wonder if I had gone, what would have happened? Go. Take the opportunity. Why say no? We only, you know, the whole YOLO thing, we only live once. It's true. I mean, I, every time I'm like, hey, you want to? If it's not going to harm me or somebody else, of course, I'm like, yeah, why not? 
good. This is, I like having new experiences. This is exciting. Well, it's a risk. I understand that you want to do it. I'm not sure for who that's for. But for others, this is a business. This is an idea. This is something you haven't really had time to work on. Maybe you've been twiddling with it here and there. And, you know, because you work so many hours and whatnot. But now you have the opportunity. I don't know. A lot of that's happening. I mean, a lot of people are embracing this moment. That's all the energy I get. Most of my readings have been kind of the same energy. Which is understandable. We're all kind of a collective, you know. So a lot of people are taking this opportunity to go, okay. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I just haven't had the time. Now I'm going to do it. Well, you need to stop blocking energy. Someone else needs to go. I'm not sure where this applies, but that's. That's what I said, my friends. That's what I said. And please like, subscribe, and share if you're not already, my friends. Please, 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 please. Dislike, comment. I do not care. Just do something. Let me know you're there, my friends. Okay, now I'm going to do a love reading, which can be friends, family, or romantic. You need to see where it fits. Don't force it to fit. At the end of this, I'm going to tell you how to read, how to win a two-card or two-question reading and a one-question reading. All right, let me put these away real fast. Like my little box over here, I don't think y'all can see it in the video, but. Okay, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, April 2020. Love relationships. Thank you, Spirit, thank you for being here. Thank you for speaking to me and through me. New vitality, new beginnings, new life. Embrace it. I like that. Okay. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, April 2020. Love relationships. What message do we have? My Scorpio friend, Sun and Rising, April 2020. Love relationships. Oh, what's love got to do? Got to do. Opportunity back home. See, I like that. Catching my eye there. They are, they are. Alright, one more shuffle. Nope, okay, we're gonna do another one. We're gonna do another one. Scorpio Sun and Rising, Love Relationships, 2020. Thank you. So, we got for you, my friends. Now, remember, everything you need to know is down in the description box below. Giving and receiving. Pretty self explanatory. You know, you have to give in order to receive. In order to give or receive to anybody else, you have to learn how to give and receive to yourself. It all starts with self love, self confidence, self talk. Let's see what they got to say. You gotta give a little. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Solar plexus. Oops. All right. Solar plexus is I can. So you can move on. I'm not sure what you're moving on from. Let's see. Okay, you can move on, you can release. Okay, it says, I can move on, I can release. This is all in your heart. Okay, simply love. It's like telling a story, it doesn't really pull out this way. Okay. You can move on. You can release. You can simply love and it will blossom. It will be a dedicated effort between the both of you. So this is probably for whoever is thinking about following the person to another location starting over with somebody. So you can move on from the past. You can release this hurt and this heartache. You can learn how to give and receive love to yourself. Because you're, other people aren't supposed to fulfill you and vice versa. You're supposed to enhance each other. You're supposed to be fulfilled and full in yourself. Easier said than done sometimes. But you have to learn to love yourself and be okay with yourself. You have to love yourself, be happy with yourself, and truly, truly be like, I'm good. You know, if anybody comes along in my life, they enhance me. There's no, you know, pulling and tugging. It's just an easy flow. We just kind of, it's, like it's like two rivers coming together, right? 
There's no, they don't fight and struggle, they just kind of flow together. Well, if one river's all rocky and jagged and it's got cliffs, they don't really flow together. This other one's over here is just doing this, and this one's like kind of rolling beside it. So they're, yeah, they're flowing together, but this one's all bumpy, right? Well, that's what happens when you aren't flowing. You have to let the love and all that flow through. You have to love yourself. You can flow freely. Someone else can flow freely, and then you meet together. You can't be all jagged or meet someone who's all jagged. You can't be Captain Save a Ho, you know, or Queen, you know, King Queen Save a Bro. We can't. We can't expect anybody else to save us either. That whole white knight thing. Bleh. Yeah. Anyways, so you you can move on from this. You can release this negativity, this whatever this is that you're holding on to. You know what it is. But it is about simply learning to love yourself. So you can blossom. It will take a dedicated effort. For some of you, it's just, this is just a time to move on and release this crap. Do a little chakra cleansing of your solar plexus and your heart chakra. That's heart. Solar plexus. And solar plexus is the pancreas and the adrenal glands. Fire and yellow are the sign. So, or the sign, the color, whatever. Elements and the colors. There we go. Lord have mercy. It can, it, but it will take a dedicated effort on your part to heal yourself. Or, like I said, for the original, you can move on. You can release this negativity, this whatever this hurt was in the background, and you can simply love and blossom. And there will be a dedicated effort with ever whoever this is. There will be an equal give and take, give and receiving in this relationship. Someone else, this is you figuring it out within yourself. Okay, let's see. Seek. Yep, so you need to seek the joy and stability within yourself. You need to learn to give yourself love and receive the love that you give. It, it, I give and keep saying, easier said than done. I understand, I understand, I understand. Someone's yelling at me, I hear you. Okay, <laughs> easier said than done. But it can be done. It's going to take a dedicated effort. Seek this joy and stability. Same applies to you. If you've been questioning whether you want to go with this person, it seems like a big risk. Count it's seek it. Seek this joy and stability. Don't let it run away. Don't let it leave you because of your past. You can move on. You can release the past. You can have a new love, a new beginning without all that crap, all that baggage. Because they aren't, and you aren't the, the, them. They. Ah. They are not the person you are with before, and you are not the person that was with that type of person before. Because you learned how to love yourself. You learned how to release the past. You learned how to forgive. You do you figured out equal giving and receiving. You know what a good balanced relationship is. Seek this joy and stability. You deserve it. Somebody keeps thinking they don't deserve it. You do. You do joy you do deserve it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to yell at you. All right, I don't know why I keep... I feel like one more card. What else we got? What else we got for my Scorpio friends? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yep, see, you need to rebuild your clarity of belief. You need to believe in love again. Believe in yourself again. This heart, heart, heart. This is all about your heart, my friends. All about rebuilding it. Rebuilding that... Clarity of belief. You believe in love. You've been hurt and you've stopped believing, but you believe in love. You need to cleanse that out. You need to release this negativity. And you need to embrace yourself, your self-worth, your self-love. You need to believe that if you believe this is the right person and with all your heart, you need to, you need to go for it. I do not, I'm not sure who I'm speaking to. Again, you know, obviously everybody has their own stories. I'm not, I'm not telling you, you know, 100%, this is you, go do it. And then later down the line, you're like, I knew I shouldn't have gone. Whoever this is for, you, you've been battling with it since they asked you. Like you were going to, he asked you and it's supposed to be quick and then this kind of all shut us down. So you've had time to think about it. And it's your past that's bothering you. Let go of all that. And learn how to simply love. 
rebuild the clarity of belief. You believe in love still. You do. And for others, you need to rebuild your belief in love. See, for those of you who need to, who aren't in a relationship or aren't thinking about going with somebody, you need to nurture yourself. I don't know how many times to say that. Give and receive to yourself. Love yourself. But you're refusing to see that you deserve that love. You've got to find a balance between your heart and your head. Your mind and your subconscious. Your subconscious mind is what speaks to you all the time. You need to reprogram that subconscious mind. You are not what other, how other people treated you. People always treat you the way that you allow them to treat you. You did not know your self-worth. That is why they treated you the way that they treated you. Because you allowed it to happen. So now you need to nurture yourself. Give and receive yourself the love. And learn to see you are worthy of love. And you need to find that balance of simply loving with the innocence and following your intuition. If you'd followed your intuition in these last relationships that really hurt you, you would have never even gone down the path that you went. So you need to find a balance between your mind, your heart, and your intuition. All right, my Scorpio friends, I love you very much. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hit the dislike button, comment. I don't care. Just let me know you're there, babies. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you how to win free readings. I'm going to give away a two-question reading first place and a one-question reading the second place. I want you to go down in the description box below. Send me an email. That email address is down there. In the description box Subject line of the email, I want you to say, funniest quarantine story. And then send me your funniest quarantine story. And then on my channel, I want you to like, subscribe, and share, and comment done after you've sent me that email. On the 24th, April 24th, I'm going to email whoever wins and let them know they win. And I'm going to make an announcement and let who knows wins. So if you would like to enter that free reading, first place gets two questions, second place gets one question. Email me, subject line. Funniest quarantine story. Send me your funniest quarantine story. And then come back to my channel. Like, subscribe, share, and then comment. Done. I love you, my Scorpio friends. Mwah. Later.